Hey people, this is Fernando, welcome to another video, in this case reacting to the Noob Fighters latest video, which by the way, I suggest you go check it out, there you have the title, a game for our kids, can our, a game our kids can enjoy, uh, I actually replied to him, I mean, not even your kids, man, this is something that it will, at this rate, and just think about it for a second, at this rate, this game will never be released because there's simply not enough progress made year after year so as to complete even half of the things that they've just talked about for so far. So it would be, you know, it would make no sense to assume that at this rate, as things are right now, your kids would see this game. That is simply not realistic. There's not enough progress made each year. Um, but besides that, one of the other things that, that he says, and I don't think he, he completely uh, fully understands what's going on with the company, with CIG. Uh, here he talks, let me just show this to you guys. Conditions bring us no closer to release. It's just another incomplete ship in an incomplete universe that needs to be wiped again. When we watched the demo of the first jump point at CitizenCon Keynote in 2018, we were shown real progress. The crowd was correct to go nuts with excitement, and that was seen at the time as a real turning point. Pyro would be just around the corner. There it is on the screen. That's right. why they would be showing it to us, right? It can't just be another BS marketing tactic, because there it is on the screen. Next year was 2009. And that's where he's wrong. Yes, it is a yet another marketing tactic. Look. This is very simple, guys. It's really not all that complex. I assume that some people have great intentions. Uh, they just don't understand what the business model is about. And by this, I'm not saying don't play Star Citizen. I think it's worth your 45 bucks. I think you have to be extremely careful because they are so good at misleading, confusing, tricking people into believing things that simply are not true. They led you to believe things that will not happen for years, maybe decades to come. And that's what they're very good at. So you have to be extremely careful with that, right? Be very wary of how much money you spend. If you spend 45 bucks, you buy yourself an Aurora, I think it's definitely worth that much. You wanna buy an Avenger Titan, 70 bucks? Be my guest. You wanna spend $10,000? Your money, man, do whatever. But don't think that you're helping the company do anything faster, that's clearly not the point. Even if you give them a million dollars, you won't see more progress than what you see right now. That money will probably go into capitalizing the company. And if you don't know what capitalizing a company is, then you definitely have been tricked in many ways by CIG. It's a business model, it's nothing personal, as I reply to Nubifire there in the comments. It's a business model that consists of selling ships with a basic game mechanic that exists as of right now, which is enjoyable, definitely worth the 45, 50 bucks, but not a whole lot more will be added as time goes by. Just the minimum amount so as to keep some content going, keep that ball rolling, keep the guys that create content and have channels that they live of that create content simply to subsist with their channels, or they enjoy doing it, but for whatever reason, they just split hairs in finding ways of making content where there's very little. And that's simply the way it is. Now, uh, is this something you can enjoy for a few months? I definitely have. Is it something that eventually does get old because it's not progressing fast enough? Definitely. After a year or so, you better find yourself something else to do because this will not be you know, it's something to your satisfaction, it will just be too repetitive. It is four planets with uh, just as many cities and not a whole lot. I mean, even in the cities, there's not a whole lot to do. There's no role playing beyond, you know, what you make up with your friends. There's no character development. There's no homes even. These are all things that in just six months you will have in Starfield. Starfield will be everything that Star Citizen has claimed to one day aspire to be, <laughs> but it's not, and that's just the way it is. The difference is that the business model is the complete opposite from one to the other. Starfield, they will make their money once the game is released and sold. Star Citizen makes the money by marketing, hyping, 
and making ship sails. The latest one, the Antares or whatever stupid name it has, yeah, it pisses off people. Someone will buy it. It's probably not going to be their best seller by a long shot. It's not even that cool or interesting. And it's a clear, disgusting money grabber, really. I just, you know, they, they just get away with doing these things because they have enough uh, people supporting. But that's basically where it's at. No, I'm not saying don't play the game. No, I'm not saying it's the best game ever because it's just not either one of those. But you have to be an adult, be honest with yourself and with others, and most of all, understand the business model. Guys, this is the business model. It's not like uh, a, a, a Starfield or any other game that makes the dough when it sells. The game is making money as it does not release. Not releasing is what allows them to keep on hyping marketing and getting people excited about something, putting some of those ship sales right there, you know, sprinkled along it, along the road, and a road that will never, ever, ever end. See you on the next one. Take care.